Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I've received some mail from Born Pretty Store. Um, so today, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch everything just because I want to know what the colors are. And then I will um, do some looks with them. So I will have lots of videos coming up. So um, this is how everything came. Um, my husband did open it because he wasn't sure that he had, had two parcels come in. One was his and one was mine. Um, but everything comes in my name because I do the ordering. <laughs> so all he did was open it. So um, I got a brush. So I'm super excited. I believe the brush is for this. Um, they now have a solid cream gel and it's four colors oh my lights are going let's see if i can move that a little bit so so this is four colors it's 15 grams so i'm assuming everything see a lot of companies are coming out with like little palettes like this which are really nice because if you don't have a lot of space in your house you know um like i'm running out of room so um, you know, so it's kind of nice to be able to have, uh, oh, look how pretty that is. So you got a nice deep red, a pink, a coral, and a white. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to put that back on at the moment. And now when, um, so there's the item number. Now, when you get your bottles, they always come pre-sealed. So there's no leakage, no nothing. So everything. And they've got like little dotted lines here. I just grab my, my tweezers and I just kind of run down. And then you can peel it off real. Oh, there we go. Static electricity. So this one is neon luminous gel so but let me open these other two and i will be right back one sec okay so i got everything undone so this one is born pretty neon luminous gel this one is bp 106 542 47-1 and then this one oh, got some plastic shiny glitter painting gel i can't remember so whenever i get a pr package package and oh yeah i forgot to mention this is pr um they sent me this for review um i always mark that up on the screen so you guys always know it's one of the requirements from born pretty but i love born pretty stuff i've been using their stuff for oh since I pretty much started out, they had a bunch of stamping plates and um, their uh, stamping polishes, gel polishes. I, I've been using their products for so long and I do love them. Uh, that is why I continue to do review parcels for them. Okay, this is going to take forever, so let's just, let's just cut into it. So anyway, back to my story. Um, so she sends me links and I just choose colors. And honestly, I don't remember what I chose now. So, but it comes fairly quick too, which is kind of nice. Oh, oh, look. Oh, look at that. So this is, I got it all over my last month they sent me that's metallic drawing gel and this was shiny glitter painting gel okay so same same idea um, this one's a metallic and that one's a glitter so we're gonna we're gonna have some fun Okay, 
gonna just get that out of the way. So what I'm gonna do, let me put the lid on. So I'm just gonna swatch it on um, a swatch um, wheel for today, and then um, I will do some review, some looks with these. We'll do some, we'll do some designs later. But I basically, ooh, look at that. That's so pretty. Um, cause I can't, I couldn't remember what colors I picked. So I just kind of want to check them out. Wow. That's gorgeous. Look, and it's so bright and summery. So pretty. And then this one. Oh, it's a creamy white. Okay. So we can do some nice abstract looks with this. Oh. So I'm off today. My company, um, it's a Friday. So my company that I work for, the shop guys get um, an extra floater day, part of their contract. And we, in the office, get to have the have the floater day as well so they um, um they vote on which day they want so i guess because june doesn't have a stat holiday here in canada they decided to make today a holiday so it's june i'm filming this friday june 10th so and it was spa day for the the dogs i took pedro and pippa to get their nails trimmed and then the girls Pippa or Pebbles and Daisy are actually at the vet they're getting spayed and um, and they're getting their nails trimmed and everything so I'll be picking them up a little later so it's been a busy day for me so I'm trying to get all, everything done okay I'm gonna pop this in the lamp and then we're gonna do the other two colors hang on one sec Okay, so this one glows in my lamp, especially, but this one glows in the dark as well. I just kind of put it, it's too light in here right now because it's the middle of the day, but I put it under my desk and it glows. So that is super cool. So I'm just gonna do two more coats on these two. So, and then we're gonna, I always like to swatch everything. I'll have to mark down which or which on here. Um, and then I can, it helps me kind of formulate an idea of what I want to do for a design. So, but we're going to do some funky summer, I think. I'm going to do some nice summer look too. So I'll do a set of press on nails. I'm, I'm still working on. I've been enjoying doing press on nails. I was thinking about selling them here in my town to see. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in the lamp. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and it glows really well. I really like it. Okay, so, oh, what I should have done. This is a painting gel, but that's, Let's watch this as well. I guess I should have cleaned this brush. It's awfully stiff. So if you hear the mower, it's my husband. So I should probably turn his music off in case it, in case my thing picks it up. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that in the lamp, but it's so pretty. Hang on. Okay, so that's one coat of that one. I'm just taking it off the lid. <laughs> so. This one's really pretty. So. Oh, 
fuzzy. Cool figure, right? Eh? Okay, pop this in the lamp. I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned out the brush. Um, I wiped it on paper towel and then I put it in some um, alcohol. And I think I got all the glitter out. I probably should have done the glitter one last. <laughs> so I usually try and do a separate brush for glitter, but I totally forgot. So, so now I'm using um, Born Pretty's Super Top Coat. So I really like this one because it's not, it's a cream. So it's kind of nice um, when you don't want a, you know, a stark white, but you want um, a nice base. And it's, I figured it would be perfect for uh, doing some abstract manis because, you know, this girl loves her abstracts. I don't know. I just, I do. Okay. Oh, I still have this. <laughs> didn't get off this fluff that's cured okay so I'm gonna cure this and then we're gonna get to this solid gel color I'm looking forward to that one so hang on okay so there we have it so very nice and that one's super pretty so that's just two coats so it's kind of nice um, it's very nice and thick and creamy so now for these guys they're so pretty So I don't know if it's got color. I guess it's palette number 03. So they, they had a few different choices. So, um, so I'm thinking I should do the white first. And then go to the darker colors. So each time I would wipe off my brush on a piece of paper towel and then that way so this one's not quite a white as well it's a cream color um, but it's a lighter cream than this one but it's nice and smooth it's this one's hard to see <laughs> Because unfortunately it's, it's like the same color as so now what I'm doing I'm just wiping it off on um, my paper towel so then I'm gonna go in with the next color so it's it's very smooth So it's, I'm just putting super thin coats on. I always, gel polish is better when you do th thin coats. You might have to do two or three, but it's okay. Because for the amount of product you're putting on, on each layer, it equals out to what you would put on with a regular polish. So that is so pretty. So you just want, and it cures better if, if you have thin even coat especially when you get into the darker colors they um, they're harder to cure so you want thin even coats and then that way they will cure correctly and then that way you don't get any um, peeling or bubbling so some of the darker colors like black for example are really hard dark blues but these ones are, are uh, quite nice actually I really like them they're so pretty so they um, seem a little sheer at the moment but they're they're really thin I think I had something on that I had a little spot but that's so I'll wipe off this one have to get another paper towel in a minute and now we're gonna go in with the red so I will have everything listed down below 
uh, with the links and the prices. Um, but it's kind of nice for having these palettes because they usually have them where they're color coordinated. And um, so then they're easier to store. And these ones I find are thicker than the gel bottles ones, so they don't they won't run as much. You know, sometimes you gotta work fairly quickly because you don't want them to run. Okay, so I'm gonna pop these in the lamp and we'll be right back. Okay, so they're out of the lamp. So now I'm just gonna go in with the cream. And very nice. So it's a very nice color. So yeah, it's a it's a quite a bit lighter than that one. But it's a good it's a nice base color or design color. So okay, so now we go in with the coral. Make sure I put them on the right nail. <laughs> So very, very smooth, very creamy. Look at that. So those two. Okay, now wipe my brush off. And now the pink. not used to being home during a weekday it's actually kind of busy out there well we got a lot of construction going on in our neighborhood and deliveries and you know so it's kind of I keep pulling it off when I do it I get it to go soft it's a very pretty color let's go this way a bit let's move it out wipe color off and I wipe with um, the bristles that way they they keep them all nice and smooth and now we'll go in with the red so when I just get about that much on the brush I don't get a lot so little bit more there I'm just trying to get the whole nail so it looks nice so it looks nice and pretty so I've got a few ideas in mind so I'll do some press on nails I'm I think so I'm gonna stay tuned for that you guys don't have to let me know which is your favorite and do you guys like the palettes I kind of like the palettes they love there's less um, they take up less room for me to store them so okay so I'm gonna pop this in the, in the lamp I think I might do one more just so you guys can have have an idea that's three coat or two coats right now so okay let me pop it in the lamp one sec okay so now we're just gonna do a third coat just because I kind of want to see if it makes that much difference as you can tell I don't put a lot on these um, I always try and make sure I do thin even coats on my gel but it makes it um, I think the application of it is way better when you do that and it makes your 
that they do cure. So I do like these ones very much. These are nice. And it does um, smooth out a little bit. Um, but it takes longer than, say, in the bottle. They, um, so even if you wanted to do like painting with these, I think these would work well. But, oh, they're so pretty. So there is the coral. Clean off my brush. Let's get in with the pink. So that's very pretty too and it evens it out too I've noticed so it's not splotchy now if you did a little you could probably go a little thicker with your um, your layers but I wouldn't go much thicker because you want to make sure it cures but I don't mind doing the three, four gel polishes because I want to make sure that they are cured. And I, you actually, you know, these would be really good. You know how, um, like some of the, the ladies do um, plaid nails with these. These would work out nice. Um, the softer looks. I'll have to try it. Well, I'll try and get a picture and put it on the screen to show you what I mean but there you go so it's not so the red is these are more um not as opaque they're more jelly like I think okay so I'm going to pop this in the lamp and then we will top coat and come back one sec okay so I forgot to push record when I did the top coat but um I have top coated the red I probably I might have been able to do another coat depending um, but I love the colors they're actually really pretty and I love I love how it's so bright and it's very neon and it is glow in the dark um, I did last month they actually gave me uh, a pink this one this is um, so I did this color um, I did they have um, a gold I did the glow um, gold top coat as well but this one is from the same series as the red or I mean the pink and the the yellow are the same series so this one glows in the dark I didn't realize it at the time when I did my video but I'm thinking I might do a design with the pink the yellow and this cream it might look really cool so I got so many ideas running through my head so um so yeah so thanks for hanging out with me while I swatch these um and I want to say thank you to Born Pretty for sending me these items out to try and um yeah so stay tuned for um i'm gonna have some swatches of everything and um then of course i will have puppies okay um i love you guys and remember be someone sparkle bye hello pedro Hello. Oh, here comes Daisy. Daisy, hey, he doesn't need his face washed right now. Right? You just want pets? You don't want your face washed, do you? He's like, no. Look at the little tongue. Little tongue. Pedro. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. This is Pebbles. Hi, Pebbles.
<laughs> she doesn't like the camera in my... No, you can't lick mommy. <laughs> She's trying to go off the camera. <sighs> okay, Pedro, sit. Pedro, sit. Pedro, sit down. <laughs> sit down, dude. Ow! Daisy. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> They're looking. <laughs> okay.